Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and this is your weekly tarot guidance for the week of April 3rd through the 9th of 2017. Well, how are you feeling out there? Because as soon as I sat down and I looked at this with the cards and what I have written for what's going on, I said, oh, this is one of those weeks of the year that we dread. But, you know, perhaps we shouldn't, okay? A great deal has developed lately, or I should say developments. You know, things have happened. Things have been changing. But this week on the 6th, we will have Saturn do its annual retrograde. And that will be through August 25th. Be sure to watch for a special video on that on Patreon to accompany the blog post. And on the 9th, Mercury will go retrograde. That's the one that is more commonly known. People who don't follow tarot, don't follow astrology, most of them have heard of Mercury retrograde because they hear people talking about it. So, yeah, and that will be retrograding in the sign of Taurus. It'll be through May the 3rd. So, oh, the dreaded Mercury retrograde. But you know what? If we prepare for it, which is possible to some extent, you know, you can use experiences from the past or whatever. You can, you cannot, you know, make it as difficult. And one of the best ways to do that is to not over, I want to say like overbook your time, over schedule your day. So if you expect too much of yourself, chances are you're not going to be able to accomplish it because Mercury, and, and it's remember, it's in Taurus. So it's good. things are going to be slower and it's going to take time to do things. I always wind up saying I have to, you know, like double and triple check everything I do. Obviously, you can't do everything before Mercury retrograde and put it off. So hopefully you've been in some sort of preparatory mode that allows you to be ready for this. In a way, when I look at these cards, I, I think with everything that has happened recently, even though you need to continue working hard and pushing forward, it's almost like you get a moment to yourself, you know, that like, okay, well, I can take, because I see you doing it, maybe a couple times during the week, there's that need to just like take a break from the issues and, and maybe take a day those who meditate, you know, go meditate. Take some quiet time where you can think about things. I'd see, and that seems when I look around, that seems to be the theme for the week. All right, maybe all it's all those retrogrades making you slow down, look things over. You know, it's not so much the time for making huge decisions. All right, and it's not to say that you can't, but it's the idea that. You might want to be looking over how things are really going. Hmm. All right. And, you know, there is also, I think for many of you, I want to say health, like paying attention to your health. We've just experienced, you know, the change in seasons. So no matter where you live, very often when the seasons change, things with, with you know, within your body, with health wise, they change also. Henceforth, many of you may find yourself needing that time out, you know, and saying, you know what, I'll appreciate the slower pace of the retrogrades. It might be a good thing, all right, because it allows you to focus on putting the necessary balance in your life. You know, we got to remember there's all this Aries energy that's been going on. And then you have Mercury retrograde in Pisces, which is much slower. So it's kind of like, go, go, you know, you're going, go, go, go. And it kind of goes, go, go, go. And it slows down. I know that sounds a little weird, but you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of that. Maybe a little more laid back, paying attention to what feels good for you. You can still work on your plans that you have and tweak your plans. And, you know, the, the thing of it is, is that... And we've been talking about this lately, how all of a sudden you're at this point in your life where the plans that you have going on are causing you to have to interact with others, right? And what happens when there's retrogrades? There's miscommunication. There's all these things. So it's keeping everybody on the same page. 
that can be a bit of a chore. All right, it really can. And you might kind of just get in a, a, a moment where you're like, I don't want to, I don't want to share this with other people because I'm afraid they're going to mess it up. That's what it feels like. And of course that could slow down productivity, but there's a, it feels like a caution in here. Like, is it wise to, you know, let's say you're working on a project and there's other people involved in the project. And then all of a sudden you're like, hmm. I don't know if I trust this team I'm working with. And you just kind of like gather everything to yourself. Like you don't want to share the work. That that can have some bad effects sometimes. It really depends on the individual. I, I'm not thinking that currently like with the energies that are coming in this week. That you would be up for the task of taking on extra. And that's what I see here. I'm like... I don't know. I'm not saying everybody out there is going to do that, but keep an eye on it. You could be the person who's having, you know, what they thought they were going to do taken away from them because this other person just doesn't want to, you know, doesn't want to share it or whatever. It's a, it's a weird feeling here that's going on, but it's not one that is uncommon. Okay. People get that way. There's also a sense here of something being offered, but going I don't know. That kind of looks good, but I don't know. Creativity is necessary as always, but it's, it, yeah, I can't even talk. It's present in a very big way this week. Okay. Um, it's just some things like what it's, what it's time for and not what it's time for. I think you have to go and assess your life like thing by thing, you know, issue by issue, situation by situation, etc., and decide what to do. Because there's this, you know, if you're trying too hard to to cling, that you're you're just gonna be you know the universe isn't gonna let you. Let's just put it that way. So yeah. I know that you want to make sure. See, people around you may not know your story. They may not know what you've been through since 2012. Okay? And you may feel the need to continue like, no. I, I, I have to, you know, stand my ground with this because I don't ever want to do that again. You're not. You're not doing that again, but there must be something here that's making you feel that your happiness is threatened. It could just be, you know, you have to remember, it's not just that Saturn's going retrograde and Mercury's retrograde. You also have Jupiter and Venus. I honestly think you're going to hear many stories and that this week is basically all over the place with highs, with lows, you know, but I have to tell you, there is that whatever you're working on creating there, there's some new beginnings in here they're still possible you know we always talk about retrograde nah, 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 you know that kind of thing but yeah things that have felt bad are starting to feel so much better the problem is is that it's still unclear like like, like i said this week i don't see you making decisions it's still unclear what to choose, what to decide, like, you don't quite know where you're going. So this can make it difficult. It can make it difficult, you know, to remain grounded. That's one of the things that seems to be, you know, the, for that little time out, you know, keeping yourself grounded this week, not allowing any energies to stress you out, that type of thing. Oh, wow. Okay. You know, we're still, we have, let's see, we have another full week after this of, you know, Venus being retrograde after this week, all right? It doesn't go direct until the 15th. So we're looking at this week, we have Venus retrograde, Mercury being retrograde, and relationships. Oh, yeah. Who, who could have thought that this would show up on such a week? Of course it's here. And it's like, oh my goodness, truly, for many of you, this may be the test of how far you have come 
you know, in that pursuit of your new identity type of thing, you know, because if you have people approach you from your past, etc., who come along, want to talk to you, want to spend time with you, you know, you're like, eh, I don't know. You, you might just kind of sneak out the back door and say, nah, it's not for me. Because there's something about that that it, it, it'd make you feel trapped. And I think it's where you've gotten to, you know better. Now, if someone came along who deserves to be around, there's a big, big difference. Okay. But the problem is, is that if like you have a renewal, because there's a possibility of a renewal here. And this is interesting to me. If there is an equal vibration, and I'm not talking about someone where it was an unhealthy relationship, I'm talking about someone coming along that really would matter. Hmm. This is an interesting time. I'm feeling that the timing of it is wrong. So you might have to come back and do it again later. And I'm thinking of a few of you as I say this, and I'm like, I am really sorry. I just think that it's, the maybe the retrogrades bring someone back around, but it's not quite that time of moving forward. But I'll tell you what, if, if they are indeed where you feel that compatibility and that almost like a shared vision, you know, for not necessarily changes that you want in your life, but just feeling good yeah i'm telling you here's the thing though i there's a lot of information that's there whatever this is about and but i also encourage you if you have something that really needs your undivided attention don't allow yourself to be distracted because it appears to be more important than this person coming along I think you can fit it all in, in other words. Don't spend all of your time thinking or talking or whatever. There's something else that needs your attention that you need to be working on. Because we're still talking about this, uh, like, three-month thing that you're in. And you haven't completed all that yet and brought things to fruition. Indeed, there's many things going on this week. It, it makes it tough to have that time that little review whatever hopefully you have an issue out of the way so that you can keep up with all that's going on but it's like with all these retrogrades and everything things kind of switch gears so you know you find yourself presented with new challenges and at the same time you're aware of the fact that you're transitioning but there is that caution to taking on to much i can't emphasize that enough now that doesn't mean that you say to your boss uh no nah, mercury's retrograde i don't want to do that <laughs> you can't do that all right but you have to be careful at least in the area of things you know like don't be so generous with your time that you volunteer for things that you can't possibly do do you know what i'm saying so try to keep a handle on your schedule because it's important to remain flexible and that's not the easiest thing to do right now so in other words time management is a huge priority at the moment and like i said back in the beginning making sure that your schedule is not overburdened works in your best interest you know and that could be a lot of things extra activities things you know places you have to be all different kinds of things that are going on you know family engagements it's just many many things but there is there is definitely something in here this week where i don't know if it comes as an aha moment but it's something that you knew okay i knew that was going to happen that kind of thing and it might be a fleeting moment but when it does recognize it and pay attention to it because it's like you were right all along there's something very interesting taking place at various levels of society so whether you see it playing out in the workplace or on the news or in your family life whatever it is that's going on all right it's almost as though i want to say it's divided it may not be divided evenly 
but you're going to have some people who are very happy about some things. You're going to have some people who are very sad about some things. But the truth is, is that, you know, there's a lot of karma here with what's going on. And it's almost like a separation. If you could separate good and evil, however you want to put it, there is something happening here. Okay, because things are becoming more black and white and making sense. So this allows for victories for a certain, I want to say like a certain body of the population, but you'll see it and you'll understand it. Okay, so certain things become more secure. I like this because if you've been working hard at figuring something out, whether it's around your home, your family, how you're going to provide, what you're going to do, you know, these next couple of months are going to help you in that direction. Like I said, it's been hard to see. I really think you get to make the, the, the actual decisions come late May. All right. And we will be talking about that more and more. I'm going to do some extra things on Patreon as well to talk about this because it's a really interesting time frame as we approach it. All right. Now, not to get a week ahead, but let's say the, this week we end on the 9th, right? With Mercury going retrograde. On the 11th, we have the full moon in Libra. And as we approach the full moon, you're going to see something come to an end. I think that's part of what some, you know, some people are rejoicing over. Something's happening here. All right. Because it's putting an end to struggles. You know, how long have you been struggling with things? See, in spite of the fact that it's retrograde season, I've been feeling since like late March that you really were like seeing, you know, that victory over things and making sense because, you know, it's creeping into, you know, get past that full moon and you were feeling more carefree, like you've just, you know, taken back your power. But I still think, see, there's, there's something that's happening here, but it's a not yet type of thing. I don't know how else to explain it. So I'm saying you, you can't make all your decisions just yet, but it doesn't mean you can't be free from something like really free from it. And the background, hmm, March, 28th, 29th, 30th, somewhere in there when we had Jupiter square Pluto, I believe it was. There's somewhere right in there, right after that new moon, that something really good happened for you. Might not have been the thing that you'd hoped for, but it was a really good thing. And that's what's been moving you along now, where you can't really see where you're going, but you know you're going because you gotten past all of that. So by you know, by the full moon next week, you're seeing that ending that comes with the full moon, something taking place. And you're like, yes, I'm off on the next adventure. So I want to thank you all very much for listening. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. I'll see you here again next week. Take care.